Unless you've been living under a rock lately, I'm pretty sure you will have heard of cryptocurrency. It's been a hot topic in the media, in social media, and it's even been the talk at the school gate to my local cafe. But just what is cryptocurrency? Welcome to The List. This is where I work through my finance to-do list about saving money or earning money and hopefully inspire you to do the same thing. This week, I'm talking about cryptocurrency. For plenty of us, talk about cryptocurrency can seem a little bit like this. The way of making millions of peers is tracking each and every Bitcoin on a public ledger called the blockchain. When you want to send someone a Bitcoin, you probably announce that your account is sending a Bitcoin. And I have to say, that was kind of like me up until recently. Crypto seemed to be full of weird jargon and even weirder billionaires. But here's the thing. I recently dipped my toe in the waters of cryptocurrency and I'm back to report it's nowhere near as complicated or as scary as it can seem. So if you're keen to do the same but you don't know your Bitcoin from your blockchain, I'm here to unravel a few of those mysteries. In a nutshell, crypto is just a digital currency. Rather than physical money, it takes its currency in the form of a digital token. There are a whole load of currencies out there. You've probably heard of Bitcoin or even Ethereum. There's also Dogecoin, which was actually set up as a joke, but went through the roof in value when Elon Musk tweeted about it. Just like money, you can actually use cryptocurrency to buy all kinds of things. And in Australia, that could mean literally a coffee right through to your first home, depending on who's doing the selling. But the real action and interest is all around trading in crypto, which is a bit like investing. Crypto traditionally has always been extremely volatile with very low lows and very high highs. But what has set crypto on fire in the last few years is that those highs are getting increasingly higher. How high I hear you ask? Well, if you'd bought one Bitcoin in 2015, you would have paid just over $400 for it. Today, one Bitcoin is worth $70,000. That's quite a lot of money. As a result, Millions of Australians are now investing in crypto. In fact, our recent finder research showed that almost 2 million Australians now hold some form of crypto. We also asked them why. Now, unsurprisingly, the majority of them said because of the increase in value or they wanted to diversify their portfolio. But interestingly, 17% admitted that they had invested because they had FOMO. That's right, the old fear of missing out. Speaking of missing out, a decent chunk of Australians are telling us they're still not ready to dip their toes in the waters of crypto, either because they think it's too volatile, they don't trust it, or they're really happy investing in shares or just saving their money. But stop the clock. 23% of Australians told us that they would love to invest in crypto, but they just don't know how. Well, I am about to become your best friend because here's a lesson for the crypto curious. And when I say a quick lesson, I really mean quick. I'll let you in on a secret. Buying crypto is ridiculously easy. And that's coming from someone who had to count on her fingers last time she was selling sandwiches in the school canteen. Sorry, kids, it's a bit embarrassing. If you know what an app is, you can buy crypto with just a few clicks on your phone. But where do you buy it, I hear you ask? Well, to buy crypto, you usually need to go through an exchange. Some of the more popular exchanges in Australia include Binance, SwiftX and CoinSpot. We've got comparisons on a heap of available exchanges on Finder, so you can take a closer look. Alternatively, you can just do what I did and buy it through the Finder app. Yes, I know I work for Finder, so of course I'm going to be plugging the Finder app, but trust me, it is ridiculously easy to get going in the world of crypto using the app. You can download it at your app store and it's completely free. Then you just link your bank accounts, transfer your nominated funds to buy either Bitcoin or Ethereum and you are literally good to go. You can invest as little as $25. It's super easy to do and it's just a great way to dip your toe in the water and see what all the fuss is about. I timed how long it took me to set it up and it was actually about four minutes. And frankly, considering my record in the school canteen, I reckon you could do it even faster. 
So why don't you give it a go? It's such an easy way to make a low investment, a small investment, and really get to understand how cryptocurrency works. At the very least, you can impress all your friends at your next COVID safe barbecue with your newfound knowledge. Or you can look at it big picture. You are actually taking your first step in what many Australians consider to be the future of money. That's all for me this time round. If you want more information on Bitcoin, other cryptocurrencies, trading and how it all works, head to the description. I've got links galore below. The statistics I quoted in this video were compiled by the Finder Insights team and based on nationally representative research. And if you liked this video, give me a like. And while you're there, why not hit subscribe and that notification bell so you'll be updated when I download my next video. That's it for me this week. I'll see you next week for more tips and tricks.